Hello YouTube, it's Kita. Um, I decided to do a video on how I put on my lace wig. Um, generally, lace wigs are put on with adhesives. Um, first, let me go back and explain exactly what it is. What it is, is instead of it being like a wig cap, it's actually very, very thin, like translucent lace that blends in with your skin. So like my part looks like an actual part. Um, it can be parted anywhere. I wish I had a comb. Say for instance, now I have my part here. If I wanted to make it in the middle, I can. And the reason why I like it is just because I like the more realistic parts. And it is 100% human hair. See? There I got a part here if I wanted it. If I want it down the middle, I can just do the part down the middle or whatever. Um, it's 100% human hair. And like I said, generally they are... Um, glue with either adhesives or glue and you can mess up your hairline if you do not remove it carefully now my whole reason for wearing it I just started wearing them like a month or so ago and it's just so I can grow my own hair out my hair um, grows a lot better if I just don't touch and leave it alone so that's why I'm wearing it but um Instead of using adhesives, I came up with a method, which is using actual wig clips and sewing them inside. And I can actually show you. Right here, there's a wig clip. It's sewed onto the actual lace, and you just press it down. So I'm actually going to take it off and show you guys exactly how I put it on. There's two, there's three in the front and three in the back. There's big ones in the back and like medium size, small ones in the front. Underneath my wig, I have on like a, um, like a nude colored knee high. I usually, usually would wear a wig, it's like a wig cap, but I have on a nude colored knee high so that my parts look, you know, it's not black underneath my parts. So. This is the wig caps. I mean the wig clips. So you can see they are glued and I mean uh, sewed inside. And it's sewed directly on the lace. And I'm actually going to get, maybe I get my styrofoam head and just put it inside out so you can see it. I'll be right back. Okay. So what I did was I put it inside out on a styrofoam head so you can see exactly where I put the wig clips. So there's one in the back in the middle, two on like the actual back, like sides, back behind your ear, and then like two on the actual sides of your ear, like right at your temple. And that's the other one on that side. And then there's one in the middle. Oop. There's one in the middle in the front. And when you do do the ones in the front, make sure you put it not at the very edge like I did at first and put it like an inch or so back. And actually I may move this back a little bit further. Because what you want to do is have it so that your wig um, lays right at your actual hairline and not behind it. Because if so, then you'll have like a scalp and then um, your actual edge is showing, which isn't good. So if you have it an inch back, then it can actually be forward enough on your head. Kind of hard to explain. I hope you get it. So it's really easy like this. I can take it on and off like on a daily basis just because there's no glue. I can take it off, moisturize my hair underneath, take care of my hair, and put it right back on the same back. So, I mean, I'll show you exactly how easy it is to put it on. And now I'm looking crazy. So I usually snap the back first. And those wig clips, they are better than the actual combs that are inside the wigs. Because they snap closed instead of just sitting there and snagging your hair. Do the two on the side. Then do the one in front. And that's it. So, um, yep, that's pretty much it. And just like regular human hair, you do have to do this hair. You have to flat iron it. 
wash it, condition it, you know, and they should last, your wig should last you like at least six months. I paid $218 for my wig on eBay and actually the person that, um, the person that I bought mine from doesn't have any up. So I don't know if she's not selling anymore or if she's just taking a break. But, I mean, you can go on eBay and get one for around $200. And I figure if I wear it for six months, then it's like $35 a month. And we know it's black sisters. You spend a lot more than $35 a month on a hairstyle. If you were going to the salon twice a month, every two weeks, you'd be spending more than $35. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions or anything, it took me like a month to come up with exactly where to put the clips so that um, the hair does sit exactly where I want it to sit. And this is a lot better than putting glue on your edges. Like I can't really show my edges because it's not down. But I'm pretty sure, I mean, I can come up with some kind of method if I really, really wanted to. Like if I could just put a little tiny bit of glue right here to just hold that down, I can actually just pull it, pull that back and have the sides down. And that will require just a tiny bit of glue right there. Not a whole lot. Not gluing down your whole edges. Because I'll be honest, I did use the tape at first, but I'm not that patient. And I did pull some of my hair out a little bit. And once I did that, I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. I love my edges too much to have them come out. So, yeah. Any questions or anything, let me know. Okay, I just did this style real quick to show how versatile the wig is even without using the glue so I'll pretty much just pull it into like a little like pump here and just pull out some hair in the front now there is baby hair with the wig you do not have to glue them down I think that's very 90s, 90s ish but if you wanted to you could so I just pulled them out you know just like a little messy hair style here and it's actually came out pretty good despite the fact that it's not even glued down so ladies if you're looking at a lace front wig and are afraid of the glue you don't have to be you do not have to use glue or adhesive you can just use wig clips and pin it down um, it comes in all different kind of textures not just straight you can get um kinky kinky straight yakky which is like african-american relaxed hair this is a silky straight and i actually will not be getting this anymore because um it's actually too damn silky straight. I want a yakky next time, which is more like relaxed African American hair. Um, so yeah, don't be like me. Most of the time, I don't even style mine just because I'm lazy. But like as you can see, there's plenty of things you can do with it. You style it just like it's your own hair. You can do cornrows on it, braids, whatever. Like I said, if you make a part anywhere, it shows up like a natural looking part. So, yeah, I just wanted to do that really quick because I was just wondering myself and I was just playing around with it and came up with this. So, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer it as best as I can, even though I'm not an expert. Um, but I've been wearing it for a couple of months, so I know just a little bit.